Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for January. This is for the month of January. This is being recorded in December. Today is December 16th. It may resonate now, but it may not. I'm here to tell you to re watch it in January. We got 40, what, 40, 44 days, 43 days, whatever, since this is being recorded till the end of January. So it may not resonate right when you watch it. It's for January. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You also need to keep in mind that this reading may not be for you. You know, when a card goes a-flying, i got to take it. Ooh, wow. Well, wow, well, wow, well, wow, well, wow, well. wow. Okay, so... Yikes. Somebody is probably bitter and upset and feeling a little closed off. You may have some anger issues. And it, this could be somebody that you're dealing with or it could be you. You know, there's a bully in the in the mix. Whether it's you or the other person. Somebody's not being very nice and they're not being logical either. It's like <laughs> cold. We got a cold, uh, cold, cold, cold. It's like cold as ice. This one just flew into my hand as well. Now we have a choice, a decision. You know, the boulder the has been plopped and you got to make a decision. Plopped in the middle of the road. Do you stay or do you go? Do you stay or do you go? Hmm. Interesting. Yikes, somebody's absolutely closed off emotionally. It's like, retreat, withdrawn. There's a lack of communication here. It's like, <sighs> emotional withdrawal, that's for damn sure. Now, there's definitely some sort of uh, miscommunication here. That's for darn sure. And somebody is thinking about leaving, but unsure. Really, there's a. It's, it's like, I really don't know if I should even continue to put in effort anymore or not. Seriously, somebody is really thinking about whether they should stay or go. You know, there's a lot of arguments here. There's a lot of petty pettiness and victim mentality. You could be dealing with somebody who plays the victim and that's caused you to get angry, caused you to be frustrated. You know, who likes a person that poor, poor me and it's never them, you know. That causes frustration. So you may be frustrated, you know. Yikes. So, I mean, it isn't, I mean, you got, it looks like you guys are probably taking on this energy. It's right in the middle. So this is the overall energy. You guys know what you're worth, right? You do know what you're worth. You're worth the best of the best. You have a lot of life experience, right? You've dealt with a lot of pain and it's taught you a lot. It's like you, 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 I have too much to offer to, you know, this is what you're thinking. You're like, and it's the truth. I have too much to offer to play these games. But there's a lot of memories. There's a lot of nostalgia. There's a lot of uh, feeling here. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But somebody's not grounded here and they're not stable and they're not secure. You could be dealing with a person who is really not focused on love, right? They're not really focused on love because there's not a lot of love in these cards. Yeah, you love, your, you love yourself and that's how it's supposed to be, right? It is supposed to be that way. You love yourself, you have a lot of unconditional love to offer, but you're dealing with somebody who is not offering love, okay? There's no doubt. You're, you're dealing with somebody who's not offering, offering love. They're focused on everything but love, put it that way, you know? They're closed off emotionally, whoever it is that you're dealing with. 
you could have children with this person or children could children could be a problem here children could be in the middle you know and I'm not you know whatever there could be some arguments or some conflicts about the children and this person is just like ugh, they don't understand whoever you're dealing with doesn't understand that children you know whatever I don't know how that works out for you but they they're not seeing it from your point of view at all and you're thinking about turning your back on this person you know because this is the mother so it and this is children so this may have something to do with children it could be affecting your relationship children whether it's their children or your children whatever the children are, are definitely a factor here and you know sometimes a mother has to move away and put her children first I'm not saying that's what you need to do I'm just saying I'm not sure what this is but it could go many ways these readings are for thousands and thousands and thousands of people so everybody has a different life so it's going to be different for everybody somebody is uh, not finding the mental strength to do something to bring victory and success I mean you're dealing with somebody who's not putting in a lot of effort to make something work this person may be like a business owner or something like that or somebody that is really focused on their job focused on their money you know and that's more of a priority to them than making this work with you I don't know who, the, who this is for but I'm just saying it looks like there's a lack of victory and success because somebody is like they're not prepared to make any they're not prepared to make any changes whoever it is that you're dealing with is not going to budge whatever it is that they need to budge from that's what I see it's like they're not focused they're not focused on on love whoever it is that you're dealing with not to the point where you are okay I think that you are taking on that energy of you know unconditional love but whoever you're dealing with is causing some conflict and they're like stealing your energy because they're they don't there's lack of strength lack of strength lack of courage this person is like not prepared perhaps to be in a family I don't know what this is or not prepared to take care of other children other person's children or something like that I don't know what this is but whoever you're dealing with doesn't have a lot of strength they don't and they don't really want to work together they don't want to make any compromises you're dealing with a person who is really stuck in their ways really 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 stuck in their ways and you're thinking about moving away moving on from this situation because if you know if this person won't compromise they don't want to they don't want to they don't want to like I said they don't want to budge they don't have you can't teach this person you can't make them see it your way whatever you do you know if there's a lot of there's a lot of hurt here um, and it's like there's no union okay there's no there's no real union here you may have thought this was the answer to your prayers when you met this person but come to find out it's not what this is but that's what it looks like to me it looks like you may be you may be you may be hurting because your your expectations have been dashed and I'm sorry to give you this kind of reading but it looks as though you're worthy of a whole lot more I think that you are worthy of a whole lot more than whatever this person is giving you and I think that's why you're thinking about leaving this situation or you are actually doing it you could be actually using this this sword and cutting this person out of your life because they're not focused on the being a father or being a family man they're focused on their money they're focused on their job they're focused on everything but whatever it is um, children this person isn't well suited and they probably you know it hurts it hurts when you invest time and energy into a person that doesn't see the opportunity that you have to offer so I think that you're dealing with somebody who just doesn't see what you have to offer and now you feel like your wishes and your dreams have been dashed but but you do have another opportunity I think that right now you could be grieving you could be grieving because you put maybe you made a wrong decision I don't know 
You may have some regrets for allowing this person into your life. Now that, you know, maybe maybe you didn't see the truth and, and maybe somebody didn't tell you the truth and now you feel like you've been stabbed and you're like, damn, this hurts. But, yeah, you, may, you were probably dealing with somebody who had a huge ego and... You know, they maybe maybe they were driven by greed. They were driven by lust. They were driven by the, by everything but love, by the looks of things. Okay, because there's not any love in these cards. How many cards have we dealt out? All of them. There's no love in any of these cards except one card. And it's you. Whoever you're dealing with is driven by <laughs> all the wrong things. And you may have allowed these this person into your life thinking that, you know, you you could make this work, but it doesn't look to me like there's nothing anything you can do. There's anything you can do. This person has addictions, this and this person has like serious addictions. I mean and obsessions. I mean kinda of like O C D kind of thing. You know, this person is kind of like toxic. And you may not want to have had to ha accepted that. You, maybe you didn't want to accept that. But, and maybe there was a strong, strong attraction because there was a lesson that learned, needed to be learned from this about your worth. And maybe it has to do with children about making a choice because if there's a choice. There's a choice. There's a cho I think there's a choice between this partner and children. That's what it looks like to me. And I think that you're really unhappy that this choice has to be made. There's no growth here. There's no uh, fertility. And that you do have a better opportunity. You have, the, uh, you have the opportunity for something solid, stable, and secure. You have the opportunity to manifest it. So you do have a new opportunity. You have a new opportunity beyond this toxic situation. You may need to go through some sort of period of healing first, okay? Because you may not be healed from this. So healing needs to happen first. You feel like you maybe you were cheated on. Maybe you feel like you've been robbed and it takes a minute to grab, take those uh, swords out of your whatever, you know? You may feel like you're ungrounded at this time and you need to get back to being grounded. Things are a little uneasy right now. There's pain here. There's some pain. I think you're dealing with some pain over having to choose. You know, you probably have had to choose either, you know, maybe between a children and a, and a person. I don't know. I think that you were dealing with somebody who had hidden agendas. They had hidden agendas. Maybe it was just sex. Maybe they were just looking for sex, you know. I don't know. Um, and maybe you thought you maybe you thought you knew this person when in fact you really didn't. And this person has probably made you feel like you need to go into some sort of repression. And maybe you're going into some sort of repression to heal because that's what you gotta do. And there's pain. You think about the Empress. I mean she has to accept pain to get her miracle. So you may be going through some sort of pain right now. I'm sorry. And things are delayed. Think your golden opportunity that is in sight is delayed. It is delayed because there's some sort of pain that you're dealing with. And you need to release it. You're, you're Right now you're going through some sort of depression. And that's normal when somebody has robbed you or stolen from you or stabbed you or cheated on you. It's normal. You know, if somebody has led you down, led you to believe that they were going to make you happy, that there was room for growth, that they weren't going to hurt you. If somebody led you to believe that and then it was a complete lie, well, that shit hurts. So I feel like right now you're going through a period of perhaps repression or depression because somebody really hurt you and they didn't follow through with what they said they were going to be. And I think that you see it absolutely clearly. You've gained a lot of wisdom from this. And you will be rewarded for making the right decision. Because that Ace of Pentacles is a reward. Will it be this month? Is is there? Is, I, this month is a month of healing for sure. You're going to be healing over something. Um, 
and then you're going to have a new beginning. Beyond this, this situation, you're going to have a new beginning, but you have to learn this lesson because the world card is a lesson learned. Allow yourself to take time to heal. Allow yourself time to close this door. Allow yourself um, time to forgive this situation. And then you need to complete this cycle and step over the finish line. And when you step over that finish line, you have this new opportunity that to go down a new path towards something more stable. But I see you guys are going to need to be on your own for a little while to regain your independence, to regain what's been lost, to heal, to you know, really start enjoying yourself again, you know, to get your shit back together. Because I feel like you were dealing with somebody that held you back. But I think you've learned a serious lesson here, whatever it is. And I'm not, I'm not, I don't know what the lesson is, but right now you're probably feeling a little bitter and resentful, which is absolutely normal again. You know, you may be angry and frustrated that this happened. Maybe you didn't want to be alone anymore and you got into a relationship with somebody who wasn't well. And I could see that there was somebody that wasn't well suited for you just because you didn't want to be alone. You want love, right? Endings bring new beginnings. So you do have somebody else, but you got to release the bitterness first. You have another opportunity around the corner. But right now, it feels like you're going through some mental turmoil, and it's just not time. It's just not time for this new opportunity. You need to heal. You need to love yourself. You need to work on healing yourself during this time in January. That's what it looks like to me. You may have a new opportunity that comes in if you want to allow it, but I'm not sure if you will. It looks like you're comfortably stuck right now because you're going through some mental turmoil. But it feels like you you may want somebody to come rescue you, but you're not. I'm not sure you would let anybody in. I'm not sure you would. I think that right now you're you're going back and forth. You're going through. You got some tension going on in your life that needs to be released. You need to put in effort to work on yourself. You need to find the strength and the courage and the self-esteem that's been lost by whatever this person. You know what? Whatever happened. You need to. You need to take this time. This is a card of healing as well to get yourself back to where you need to be. So I feel like this is a month of healing and realizing the truth. You've, you've experienced some sort of pain and loss, perhaps, and now you are a, you're dealing with it. It's like, a, it's, a, it's like a healing period, a respite period, and you have a new beginning on the horizon. But I don't feel like it's, it's like in this month. I really don't. I mean, it could be. It could be because we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. For some of you, if you have already experienced this decision and made the decision, made the cut, whatever it is, then you probably do have an opportunity for a new beginning here. Um, could be with a Leo. Could be with a Taurus. You just have to regain your faith. You have to regain your trust in humanity, right? You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that everything happens for a reason. So I believe that you are probably in the process of healing in January. And regaining strength that has been lost in some sort of situation that was toxic. And you've had to release it. And I feel like you do are headed towards a better opportunity that will lead to commitment. And it will lead to stability. And it will lead to victory and success. But you have to deal with this first, whatever it is, Gemini. So yeah, you have somebody new. You do have somebody new, but it's I think it's on it's not. It could for some of you it could be in January, it could be, but for some of you I think it may be a little bit further out, maybe 3 months, maybe March. Um, but it could be in January. It could be in January. new opportunity because we have the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups. So somebody could be coming in with a solid loving offer could happen absolutely it could Gemini Gemini show simple acts of kindness a simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you Maybe you need to be kind to yourself. I got to show you what's on the bottom. A
appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. And that is exactly what this card is. Whatever has happened has taught you something. It's brought you growth that you needed. And it's bringing you closer to your destiny. It truly is. You got to believe that. You have to believe that. Don't let bitterness, and that's why this kindness card come up. Don't be bitter because of this loss. It happened for a reason. It did. Good luck.